Hello all, welcome to part 53 of TestNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate what will happen when we provide or specify thread count as a negative value in TestNG XML file and how does it affect TestNG parallel execution. So let's get started. So what will happen when you provide the thread count attribute value as a negative number in the TestNG XML file? What will happen is it will not accept. Okay, you will not get any error, guys. Okay, it, this particular question may be asked as an interview question. Okay, just to see what knowledge you have. So if in case you actually assign a negative value to the thread count, even though the parallel execution is enabled, parallel is called test attribute is already mentioned in test and XML file, and thread count is mentioned as a negative value like minus one or minus five, whatever it is, it is not accepted, guys. Test ng file will accept, but when you run the test ng file, you will get an exception known as illegal argument exception, and none of the tests will run. Let me practically demonstrate this for you. So here, we have this project, we have this uh, test and all those things, class and all here. At the show tag level, I'll enable the parallel execution first. Parallel is equal to test, I will say, and space thread hyphen count is equal to, instead of giving a positive value here, I'm giving some negative value like minus two or minus one, whatever it is, okay? So what will happen, guys, if you give the thread count as minus, it will consider this negative value as an illegal argument, and this running the test and XML file will result in an exception known as illegal argument exception. Just run this and none of the tests will run, guys. You'll get an exception known as illegal argument exception. Okay, so test will not run. Only positive values are allowed here in the thread count, no negative values. So hope, guys, you got the answer for this question and which can be ans uh, asked in the interviews. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer or I'm going to explain another test engine concept for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.